Now there's no doubt about it that by far the most anticipated Star Wars TV show of 2023 is indeed the Ahsoka Tano series, starring actress Rosario Dawson that's going to bring in characters like Grand Admiral Thrawn, Ezra Bridger, Sabine Wren, and a whole lot of other characters as well, also coming from Star Wars Legends. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. Now that brings us to exactly what is happening with Kathleen Kennedy, Bob Iger, the Disney board, and the most recent shakeup between all of the different people at Disney and Lucasfilm. Now, we know that Bob Iger has this full-fledged plan of really settling things out over at Lucasfilm, you know, balancing things out with the upcoming revival of Star Wars Legends and how that's going to coexist with the upcoming Disney canon material as well. So, given that we have Kathleen Kennedy really having a lot of trouble to this day with Skeleton Crew and the Acolyte, it does raise a lot of questions about her accountability, right? She doesn't really seem to take much, you know, of an much kind of criticism well. She always gets very defensive over her work. In fact, she was actually blaming the fans a couple of weeks ago that it's the type of people that are not supporting the Acolyte who, quote-unquote, are just scared of diversity and stuff like that. She says all these crazy things that just really come off as, you know, very unprofessional, so to speak. Now that's moving on to the next thing here about what recently happened by Bob Iger and what he did with Kathleen Kennedy and how it does involve a very important piece of the Star Wars roadmap. So as you all know, the roadmap is going to be further announced at Star Wars Celebration and D23 later this year, so keep your eyes open for that. However, with multiple new Star Wars projects in the works by John and Dave, Kathleen Kennedy is still having issues with the Acolyte and Skeleton crew to this day. However, it's noted that just recently in preparation of firing Kathleen Kennedy completely, Bob Iger recently fired her from a very important Star Wars TV show that's in the works that is aimed to release in the near future. Now, this is described to be Ghost Track 17. That is the code name of the show. A full-fledged series that will focus on both Thrawn and Ezra Bridger, where Iger recently fired Kennedy from this project for two very big reasons as a producer, and is, of course, restricting her now from any form of production for the show. Now, Kennedy's first attempt was to drastically lower the budget of the series once again to make it more small-scale and less of a well-funded story. Her goal was to cut back on a couple of episodes for Ghost Track 17 in order to save time and revenue over at Lucasfilm. She also wanted to recast the already chosen actor who was playing Grand Admiral Thrawn in the upcoming Ahsoka show. This caused a lot of tension between John and Dave against Kennedy as well as many of the members of the Disney board and how they held issues with Kennedy after all of this. Now let me just stop right here for a second. Now. As you all know, John and Dave are the guys that chose who's going to be playing Grand Admiral Thrawn in the Ahsoka show. Kathleen Kennedy wanted to undo that in the upcoming Thrawn slash Ezra spinoff or whatever you want to call it. We're not quite sure exactly what it's going to be titled, but the code name is Ghost Track 17. That's all that we really do know about it. But it just goes to show you that Kathleen Kennedy is relentless, she never stops, she never learns a lesson, and never wants to accept that the fans like what John and Dave are doing. The fans actually really love what they are putting out with Mando Season 3, with all these amazing trailers and teasers, and really are very pumped to see what happens in the Ahsoka series as well. And just keep that in mind that this is going to be a very interesting transition when Disney gets to finally let her go all together and on a grand scale all together from Lucasfilm because I think then and only then a lot of fans are truly going to be reunited and coming together and trusting in John and Dave fully even though John and Dave guys like I say they have full creative power they're able to do whatever they want to do now um, but it's all about getting Kathleen Kennedy off as a producer for many of the upcoming shows one by one, leading up to her full firing. And that's exactly what Bob Iger is doing. The reason why it's a slow process show by show is because there's a lot of contracts involved, 
a lot of variables, a lot of things to actually sort out. But anyways, that brings us to the next big thing. Given that Ghost Track 17 is not going to arrive until 2025, they have to, of course, really kind of set things up for the show, and Kathleen Kennedy was trying to really prevent a lot of that. Like I said before, lowering the budget, making it more small scale, dialing back on the number of episodes. And this one's a surprising one, is that additionally, of course, Kennedy was also trying to get rid of actor Iman Asfandi from carrying out the role as Ezra again and wanted to actually bring in a female lead character instead. Bob Iger and the board knew this only spelled trouble and decided to recently take her off the project completely and will remain to do so with many upcoming shows before her total firing takes place. So we're going to be filling you guys in on when that happens per show as a producer. Now, given that John and Dave are getting more privileges, and this is key, they are getting more privileges over at Lucasfilm. They have a lot more control over at the company uh, based on the financial end of things and the creative end of things. But her as a producer, she still had some privileges over some of these shows, and that's why they're getting rid of her one by one, show by show, sorting things out before her total firing. They are aiming now for August. So with that being said, guys, the other thing that I do want to actually bring to light here is that the overall structure that John and Dave are aiming for is free of Kathleen Kennedy. There's no Kathleen Kennedy involvement. We already know that Kathy and Leslie are trying to undo a lot of George Lucas's philosophy in the Acolyte series, and we'll be covering more and more about that show as a lot of terrible things are happening behind the scenes right now to this very day. So many setbacks, so many problems, and it just does not seem to end. So they're trying to prevent Kathleen Kennedy from making that happen from retconning a lot of different aspects that George created. In the prequels, John and Dave want to find a way to not allow that to actually take place. And that brings us to the most important thing as well, is that given that Leslie Headland is now only limited to the Acolyte series because Bob Iger and the board have not been impressed with her in the least, this is also a telltale that the Acolyte is going to be a failure and it's not going to do well as far as ratings go. You know, um, I think a lot of fans need to remember that this is not a movie. Uh, Disney cannot rely on ticket sales or even repeat viewings at that. They have to rely on their Disney Plus subscribers. And that's a problem for the Acolyte, big time. So overall, uh, it is going to be very interesting in 2024 to see how Kathleen Kennedy carries out her plans after even she is going to be, you know, long gone at that point since Disney's carrying out the plan to get rid of her this August. So with that being said too, Kathy and Leslie have an agenda, there's no doubt about it, but this most recent firing of Kathleen Kennedy from Ghost Track 17 as a producer is a step in the right path. So anyways, fill me in guys on what you guys have to say about all of this below in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah, no.